In My Viewboard, you can import various kinds of files. To do this, make sure you're signed in, and then go to the magic box. In the magic box, you'll notice this icon in the top right, which is a folder, and it looks like it has a blue cloud coming out of it. This is the file import tool. And you can see here, by default, it looks on my Windows hard drive for any files I want to import. If you had a shared network drive, that would show up there too. If you have your cloud storage bound to your account, you can also access files directly from your cloud. To open a folder, simply double tap or double click to go into that folder. At the top, you'll notice that it shows the drive directory, so you can go back to any folder anytime just by selecting that. On the right top, you'll also see two kind of arrows that are pointing up and down. This is a search tool, so if you would rather search for your file instead of uh, digging through your drive, you can do that. Or if you want to switch it to list view, select the bulleted list icon instead of the folder list. Let's go ahead and go in and add some media. In this lesson, I have some images of money that I've already saved in this money folder. In order to add the money or any images or any content, you can either double tap or touch and drag to the canvas. So as you can see, I'm going to touch this $5 bill and release, and it's gonna download it from my drive directly onto the canvas. Let's go ahead and add a $10 bill, and then let's add this $20 bill. Just like any other objects, once they're added, you can resize these and move them around for your lesson. Let's go ahead and make a new page and let's import a smart notebook file. Same thing, I'm gonna to go to my magic box, then I'm gonna select my cloud storage and go to the folder that has my content, which is gonna be here in the My Viewboard folder. All right, so what we're gonna do is import this base 10 blocks lesson. You can see it's got the dot notebook extension, so it hasn't been converted or anything. But if we double tap that, it'll actually download it from my cloud and then open it directly in my view board. Now, you'll notice that there's some space here on the side. That's because a lot of these lessons were designed for older kind of square projector systems and not widescreen TVs. So to keep the ratio and make sure everything imports appropriately, we keep the ratio to the original scale. I'm gonna use my over arrows and you can see here that everything in this notebook file was imported. In fact, the objects, if they had things like infinite clone on them, still work. And I can edit these objects and resize them. Or if I wanted to go in and edit the text, I could do that as well. Anything with images and audio files also will import.